Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how this is going to work with this mold, how this injection mold uh, idea works. And remember, this idea is just an idea so that you can make injection molds with all different kinds of creatures and print them in 3D and check them before you were to go and try to set up some sort of an aluminum high volume molding. So it allows you to, to uh, go ahead and print something and uh, test out the creature and the injection and how everything works uh, beforehand. Remember I've uh, gone in and put two part epoxy in this area right here, uh, five minute epoxy and then it, it's of course uh, coated with vegetable oil and so what I'm gonna do now is just clamp the two pieces together and show you how that works. Okay, so now you can see that there's a ready to go mold block and we could go ahead and take it uh, to the injector. Okay, so I've taken my plastisol worms and um, usually my old worms and stuff like that and I just put them in one of these little Pyrex uh, jars and right now I've got a nice chartreuse color. So I'm just going to put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half and we'll let it warm up. Okay, so now I've got my plastic all heated in a Pyrex uh, jar, and it's liquid. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull that up into my injector. And that's about right. And this is my injector, and it's just a giant syringe. So I'll pull it up in the syringe and then move over to the hole. And that's one shot shots and three shots and that's what it is uh, in terms of just making an injection and then we'll have to let this cool about five minutes before we pull the molds apart okay so on this mold block I just probably should tell you I modified it a little bit and I drilled holes in the ends of the tail so that when I make that shot it goes all the way through the cavity and then ejects out the tail and that's how I know it's full. I made a couple of shots and just was having trouble with the cavity uh, completely filling and so I'll go ahead and open the mold now and we'll see how it works. Okay, so you can see that the pieces actually came out quite clean. So I'm, I'm a lot more pleased with the way that that worked out uh, than the way that it worked out previously. So um, this particular uh, bait is ready to uh, be cleaned up just a little bit and be thrown at fish. So. I hope you like that, hope it helps, and uh, it's really a cool idea for testing out uh, new lure designs.